Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015 where today we're going to take a look at the new sliding mesh mode in SolidWorks Flow Simulation. This is great for rotating regions such as a fan or a blower. In this case you'll notice we now have a new type of region we can set up called the rotating region where we can set up the velocity and the RPMs. With that we'll set up our other boundary conditions just like we normally would. Now, we've already run this, so let's go ahead and hide these uh, boundary conditions and go back and take a look at some of the results. Immediately, you'll notice we get a, uh, all of our common cut plot types that we would inside of SolidWorks Flow Simulation. But what's really cool about this is these can be calculated on a time-based scale. So as that, um, that impeller is rotating, we'll be able to see how it'll affect this. This is really great, for example, if you want to see the ISO surfaces uh, when that fan is rotating, we can see how that air is being actually blown or sucked into that impeller and blown through. Let's go ahead and hide this and also take a look at some of the flow trajectories that we can see here. So now we can see how the flow actually comes in and how that fan is pushing that through the design. So this is a lot different than just pushing the air in the top and letting it blow around those veins. These veins are actually generating that for us. But what's really cool about this is when we take a look at the rotating mesh regions that are available from this as well. So if we want to see how this pressure, or in this case, velocity is developed over time, we can see that. Here I've got an animation we've pre-created that shows how the velocity is increased over time based on the rotating of that internal propeller. So as you can see, the new sliding mesh mode in SolidWorks Flow Simulation in SolidWorks 2015 really helps you get down to understanding the true performance of your designs.